Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I thought I'd share with you how to make those Sherry's earrings. I'm going to be using some porcelain clay to make this and you can use uh, polymer clay, it's pretty much up to you. I just prefer to work with porcelain clay because I don't have to bake anything. When air hits it, it hardens. You don't need that much at all. I'm going to be rolling this with my roller on top of a piece of wax paper. And as you notice in my roller, I have like these two green rings. They are there to have like the same thickness all around my clay. I use this pretty much every time I'm making like earrings just so that I can have them as even as possible. I'm going to be using this two cookie cutters this one round one and a leaf one and i'm going to be pretty much cutting two like circles per earring pretty much like if it was a cookie dough i'm going to be cutting two leaves as well then for the round ones i'm going to be rolling them into like tiny balls until i have like four i'm going to be adding some like details to the leaves if you have one of those like cookie cutters that come with um the details we'll use those if you prefer i just didn't have any like that and um, so i'm just adding the details with my dyeing tool i do have the diy for this one or you can use a toothpick as well i'm going to be cleaning the cookie cutters after by the way just i tell will let you know and then i'm going to be using this uh, box chain i think this is called i'm going to cut like two pieces out of that and before my clay dries i'm going to be placing my chain inside there two per chain and i'm going to let it dry like this it's just a piece of like block of foam with my dyeing tool in there so once my pieces are dry i'm going to be assembling the whole thing for that i'm going to be using my cutters and some like super glue first i'm going to cut the chain and then i'm going to be working on the whole thing on top of like this block of foam first working with an ear post placing that in there then going with my glue gluing the chain so it looks kind of like an a just so that the cherries are not like clashing and they have like a tiny space in between them and then the leaf on top then i'm going to be um using my cutters and just going to cut the excess of like the chain if you prefer measure how much of chain that you're going to be using before and then just glue that but i don't know when i was making this this made more sense at the time i'm going to paint them using some red and green acrylic paint i ended up just using the tiny brush like the detail brush i got this brush at the arts and crafts section at the, those like crafty stores i painted the chains as well and the back of the leaf just covering everything that's um going to be visible as far as for shades i'm just going to be really careful and just working with my detailed brush try to not paint the, like the green parts and just first working on like the top part if you paint the green part you can always wait for the red to dry and then go over with the uh, green acrylic paint giving it this a few coats until it's like red and opaque finally i'm gonna be adding some like gloss using the spice sculpey and my brush and i'm just gonna be covering the sherry parts just because in real life sherries are like the shiny ones but leaves aren't they're almost like matte and pretty much velvet but feel free to add shine into whatever you want but yeah guys these are pretty much the sherry earrings that i want to share with you i've seen sherry earrings all over social media and i just love them i think they are so cute and i wanted to give them try and share with you an easy way on how to make them in case you like them too i'm obsessed with them they are pretty lightweight so much fun to make and wear and they are really easy to make especially now that i cut my hair like really short i've been really into wearing bigger earrings or just statement earrings so yeah i'll be making a lot more but yeah, i really hope you like them if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check out more custom jewelry and earrings that i have on my channel subscribe for more let me know what you think of these ones and share this but yeah thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye